Hi there, this is Tyler from the PaperCut support team. Group management is an essential component of controlling your print systems. Whether it's to apply quotas to the user accounts, grant administrative permissions to your IT staff, or keeping your student printing out of the staff printers. But how can you manage your groups and the users that belong to them? Well, you've come to the right place because that's exactly what this video is going to cover. Groups in PaperCut can come from three different kinds of sources. First, they can come from the local groups that are stored on the operating system of your application server. Alternatively, you can sync them in from a directory source using LDAP or Active Directory. And lastly, you can import them via the additional groups text file. If you're still not sure which of those options is going to fit your organization best, don't worry, we're going to be covering them in a bit more detail in the next couple of minutes. Using the OS native user management is a great option for smaller organizations that don't have a directory source. Users and groups can be configured using a familiar OS interface and can be used for applying permissions on the application server as well as within PaperCut. You can do this through the Admin Tools utility in Windows or the Users and Groups app on Mac. Of course, if your organization already has a directory server, it makes sense to have PaperCut use that as its source for the groups. Depending on how your directories are configured, you'll either use Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, or LDAP, or the built-in Active Directory module in PaperCut. These modules allow your organization to sync in the existing security groups or organizational units from your directory server. Depending on vendor-specific integrations, there may be some caveats that apply to your organization, though. For example, Active Directory supports nested groups. If you have Group B, which is nested within Group A, all members of Group B will be seen as members of Group A. One of the minor limitations of the LDAP sync module is that it will not see these nested groups. So, if you import Group A, the members of Group B will not be referenced. When using the LDAP module, in order to get the members of Group B to show, you'll just need to import Group B. Another consideration for administrators of Google Cloud directory environments is that Google's LDAP support does not allow for organizational units to be referenced. You'll need to use groups instead of organizational units when using Google Cloud directory. Finally, we have the use of internal groups, which are created by PaperCut and exist only within your PaperCut system. An important thing to note when using internal groups is that you must have a user sync source created. During the initial installation process, PaperCut allows you to skip the creation of a sync source. However, without this configuration, the additional groups text file will fail to import. Using internal groups is very useful when the directory source that you're syncing has limited group support, or if you have limited access that prevents you from seeing all the necessary organizational units or security groups. Additionally, you can use this to create small, specialized groups that only need to be referenced within PaperCut. Formatting is very straightforward. You can see examples of how to format the text in the additional groups.text.tmpl file located in these directories. The Additional Groups file allows you to specify group names and membership for those groups. To add users to groups via the additional groups.txt file, simply specify the group name followed by the username that you want to be a member of that group. You can separate these values by either a colon or a tab. So, to recap, your groups can be imported in three ways, either alongside accounts directly on your application server through the native sync option, through your existing directory server on your network, or on their own through the additional groups text file. So you have your sync source added to PaperCut. Now we just need to get those groups to show up in your PaperCut admin interface. First, let's head to the Groups tab. Next, we'll click on the button Add or Remove Groups in the bottom right corner. Using the column on the left side, click through any groups that you'd like to add to PaperCut. The group will be imported if it shows up in the right side column. Once you've added all the groups that you need, click Apply, and your groups are all ready to go. 
This process will be especially important if you choose to use the additional groups.txt file, since each time you change the membership of the group created by an additional groups.txt file, you will need to remove and re-add the group for membership changes to take place. That brings us to managing the members of your groups. If you're using a sync source, it's best to use the internal management features of your respective source. Sometimes, natively managing users for your groups isn't practical. For example, if a few users need to be in a group for printing purposes only, and changing their group membership in the directory wouldn't make sense, either for security or because creating a duplicate group just for paper cut is a little too much work. Maybe your organization uses a mix of internal and synced users. Or, perhaps, your system is using internal groups exclusively. How can you manage members in these scenarios? You can use the PaperCut Server Command module to move users between groups within PaperCut. Note that this will not affect membership in your sync source, but it can enable you to specifically configure membership for your printing environment. When managing group membership with the Server Command module, you can use the Add User to Group option or the Remove User from Group option. Note that these changes are only temporary and will revert the next time your group source is imported. In summary, we reviewed the sources that you can pull groups into PaperCut with. Either the OS Native Directory, an LNAP or Active Directory server, or through the additional group's text file. We've discussed that member management is best done with the native management of your sync source, but it's possible to create ad hoc memberships of groups using the server command module. With these tools, you should be ready to create and manage groups within PaperCut, unlocking a whole new level of manageability within your print system. For more information about user and group management or anything else with your PaperCut system, head over to www.papercut.com support. There, you'll find tons of helpful knowledge base articles and manual entries. And if you need help from us directly, you can reach out to our support team from that page. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.